Hello little folks, welcome and welcome back, I'm Xenomes. Olá pessoal, bem-vindos de volta aqui com Xenomes. Então, we are ready for more, one session of this character making from scratch. Estamos de volta com mais uma dessas sessões de criar personagem do zero. Então a gente tem aqui, a, acabei de encontrar uma solução para chat mais um recurso aqui de um aplicativo so I've just found a solution with this sort of Windows Power Toys okay there's a command to stay on top we don't see it well right now the window and then there's a way to crop it so now it for I can do that and then this will won't stay too much on the way as as it used to be uh, so maybe I can no on the other side yeah so let's hope this will work. I think there's limitations, so we'll be aware of that. Hope someone chats anything. Uh, so, uh, put something in the chat. So here, oh, what's that? No, what thing? Some weird control. I want to work in that. Okay, so here, apparently my preference aren't loading, so I need to restore can I? Yeah. Um, I should have fixed this before. I need actually to put. I think he probably call an archive here. The blender, dentro do. Ah, uh, qual que é essa coisa? Talvez seja aqui. É, não vou saber de cabeça isso aqui, mas. Uh, something about Blender. Package. No, 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 no. Ok, no, never mind. This is complicated. Let's not. So, let's ignore this. Let's just add some shortcuts again and again. Uh, Z, alright. Control Shift Alt Z. All right, so uh, whatever, if it doesn't respond, we just keep adding. I don't know why it, why it is not saving. I'm just on reordered, got Blender 4.1 this time. So we are like last stream. So we are migrating and uh, already experienced some little issues. I, I don't know why it, is, why it is not saving. Oh, maybe I need to save. Yeah, maybe that's what. I need to do okay. Also, I think orbit around. Yeah, wasn't saved, so I, I need to keep saving this this way. Uh, then there will be a file that I will overlap from Blender 4.0.2 to this one. So that was the folder things. Então, um, vamos continuar aqui. Eu tava trabalhando com o pé, né? Uh, I was working with the foot, we nearly completed it, so we ended up with some fingers that I was, I had already a plan, so it will be like hexagon, uh, like, yeah, hexagon, I, what I mean by that is this uh, exastructure, not hexagon, but exastructure, so exa loops, exa face loops. Então, exa faces, né? Faces, seis faces em volta do, do, de cada dedo. Então, aqui a gente pode sim fazer uma separação, mas eu acho que como isso vai tomar muito tempo e para o pé a gente está usando essa estratégia, because the foot we are using this strategy, I'm not gonna bother, I'm just gonna make one big foot toe here structure. Mesh topology, and this one will leave glued like that. Vamos deixar colado aqui por enquanto. Depois, quando eu terminar toda essa malha, uh, daí eu posso talvez considerar fazer isso como um ajuste final. So later on, if when I finish all the the mesh, then perhaps I can make a last consideration and and work on this. Um, and, and solve this as a bonus thing. Right, so for now let's leave it. Of course, for the hands, I'm gonna make 
each finger separately. Então, para a mão, no entanto, eu vou fazer uh, cada dedo separado. So here, let's try to rearrange a little about this mesh. And here we need to start making the connection. So since here we got this structure, yes, I think this... Uh, what about this? Is this... Yes, this is required. So we have a face an edge loop here that probably needs to collapse somewhere uh, maybe it could die off here yes could end up here so for now do we need yes we probably need to bridge these edge loops here so uh, we'll do one uh, one by one right so here maybe it's yeah it's a joint so maybe this is not a good idea to do that but since I'm here I'm trying to collapse things, so this could be valuable right now. Uh, here we're going to rearrange this mesh. Um, we need definitely to... So here the difference is that it's not toe by toe, it's like just this one that is special. And I think the idea would be to try to get the knuckles over this. Um, so this might have to create a special condition in which I want a different setup. So maybe I want to cut from this. Yes, so I'm thinking here. So we're gonna try to get something like that. And even though this is maybe not, not ideal, it can be positive for uh, we're gonna check how that works so maybe we need to dissolve that we want to start making this connect into yeah here we see that this is probably wrong so let's just merge here this is not looping correctly because actually i want this to face eu quero que isso vá para lá, né? então aqui já está errado isso aqui, vamos deletar essa, isso aqui e a mesma coisa vai acontecer aqui, então a gente vai levar isso para algum lugar assim, então dissolve, so we are going to push this, vamos empurrar isso para frente e aqui a gente vai começar a ter esse, esse knuckle, só que ele não vai ser então, knuckle é, em português, knuckle is, em português, <laughs> uh, translate, junta, uh, knuckles, no, this is not the, there should be an anatomic name in português for that. Alright, I don't find a name, maybe that's uh, knuckle in English also maybe means that, so let's uh, go back here, sorry there's too many windows here and this is a bit confusing, uh, so here we got this, can delete this face, let's try to find out how, so we're creating more uh, stuff here. Um, on a place that can actually deform quite a lot. Well, not so much this, so maybe we can use this as a... So this is a really a counter sense. Uh, isso aqui é um contrasenso, porque na verdade eu quero expandir isso para cá para não ter uma deformidade estranha nessa junta aqui na knuckle. No, uh, então, só que ao mesmo tempo, onde era para ter mais malha talvez fosse em direção ao dedo, não em direção aqui, e aqui eu estou criando, meio que criando mais malha em direção a lá. E isso não é muito inteligente, né? a não ser que talvez eu encontre uma solução para, uh, talvez, só que ao mesmo tempo eu não posso ficar levando essa, isso aqui para fora, aqui. não faz sentido. Né? Uh, pode funcionar, maybe it can work, so, for example, if I dissolve this, Let's say that I want to create some, uh, yeah, so like, 
this goes towards this side which can be uh, it can work yes so it's like that what I think this I cannot do right if I did that that could be dangerous it's too much even it's not about this but that's too, uh, too big face it could deform badly so uh, I think what would make more sense here would be this since we have this joint face loop here that we are building and what will happen yes we are missing the middle one uh, one thing I forgot yeah let's make this red uh, let's make this one blue uh, deep blue let's make this uh, white and this would have like another joint important joint so this could be the pink one and except that it doesn't take that and all right apparently we did it wrong so let's unselect these faces manually all right so this is a joint uh, joint region very okay this is also joint region but this is more yeah they, they share the same joint here uh, which is the real edge loop joint here we are going now to see how we can collapse this and this should be something like that maybe let's see yes um, get these faces away from the the joint although on the foot we have like two joints <laughs> there is the joint here with or here around here uh, that is not the same joint as the as here it's like the continuation of the the toe bones but in direction to there so we have a joint here that is very important so it will be a bit dangerous to create some uh, non-regular mesh topology here but we need to do something about this extra geometry here so let's see maybe I can try to create something like that yeah it's on the joint this might be kind of stupid so let's try something like that this is not so much a joint region so I think yeah it might bend stylistically but or even here I'm not sure let's try this one so we're gonna get this this and this so what it does is that we can already make a, a connection here folks so out, more away from the joints right so here this part will be more complicated so what we can do is perhaps yeah we forgot we are lacking here some things so maybe this goes here and uh, yeah it makes more complications here but I think this place is more or less safe to do that on quads and here we end up with a trigon which is not very we could solve with trigons right and then we can push this up and then we can reduce the size of that yeah so and here we probably we need to use the same structure thing so here because all the joints here they are doing the same thing so we, all the toes are doing more or less the same thing I think it's actually the opposite right we do that and that and so this goes here here we can try to move yeah because here this will loop all around is that correct well here we ended up with a six so this is problematic we uh, maybe we can do that from the bottom yeah but then we'll have to I see I see okay there's maybe another idea here let's try yeah, but then here too we'll have a six thing <laughs> uh, all right so never mind let's 
maybe that is not a real problem this area can we're gonna check so um, unless we could push this structure here to do it on this place um, yeah so whatever let's keep like that for now it's uh, it should be able to we'll try to deal with that later so now we merge here and there's still one face here and many more right so we can actually start creating more of those things here and we get like the russian dolls right one inside of the other so here we can connect here this would be like connecting here and so we have this where is it edge here a gente aqui a tipo as bonecas russas né uma forma assim uh, dentro é não dá para ver muito bem mas aqui tá pela metade né só tá uma parte dela e aqui essa aqui tá dentro dessa então e dá para fazer ainda mais né e aí não precisa ser aqui pode ser aqui também se a gente quisesse mas no no we we could do more but no we don't need that so just make sure that this is more aligned to the center this is probably going to be useful we can go that inside uh, it doesn't uh, we are not sure how that would deform but even if it's protruded or retracted se estiver para frente ou para trás isso não acho que para deformação não deve ser muito importante a topologia em si acho que é mais importante só vamos ver como é que isso smooth que às vezes a gente quer testar o resultado das deformações o que a gente faz é dar um smooth if we want to test some results of the forms we can smooth and have an idea of what the mesh topology is doing on a particular geometry set numa condition numa determinada condição de geometria da malha mas a uh, é claro então a uh, uh, uma determinada topologia de malha vai vai gerar alguns resultados. So here, because this is glued, we might have to yeah that's here we we'll have the same problem yes but we'll need this uh, stuff. Uh, this is incorrect so we need to dissolve that. Okay, so this loops all around, so you have the same problem here probably of the 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, here we don't have, I see some movement in the chat, Sakigaki Machazawa, Machazawa, uh, welcome, welcome, oh my, my, top, my topology on that thumb finger still trist, trist, what, uh, ah, trig, still trigons oh i see i see okay trigons yes uh it's very complicated sometimes it's better to use reference uh, if the trees guns work uh that's fine for example yeah here i'm not working on trigons but one strategy that can work is that on an area like this that is far from a joint well this is not so far from the joint but uh yeah, far from that joint, this is very delicate, then far from that joint, somewhere like here, we can probably have some collapsing geometry and trigons like that. <laughs> Maybe that, yeah, that can probably work. So we can, I mean, yeah, as we smooth this out, this doesn't cause too much problem. So it, uh, there are many examples on the geometry that this mesh topology strategy works uh, it's sometimes the trigons can work even in joint regions they might be special cases for using trigons in joint regions but this is more complicated folks yes for example there is a strategy of the knee joint that we can collapse 
with trigons uh, I don't have this now uh, because my I, I'm not working on a super low poly thing but I think I have an example here tem situações em que dá para usar trigon uh, trigonos uh, como é que é polígono tetrágono trígono <risos> não sei como é que é em português trigons dá para usar os tris no uh, no where is the thing uh, utility blend ref and topology so there should be something here on the body that I didn't pick so let's see we'll see it when appears a big one okay here so you see there's trigons here for joints this you'll find example I think on YouTube there's a tutorial that shows that if it still exists so basically yeah we can but my my mesh is not so low poly like that it's slightly more maybe and it's not that simplified uh, uh, so I'm using different structures so there are cases where uh, trigons can work very well on yeah I see on that knee joint so the strategy here it's a bit confusing but the big faces here lesser faces so what is this does is that as we so it's it's a bit counterintuitive but the idea is that we'll have not this right no, it's the opposite so that there will be more geometry coming from the front of the knee because this will imply this and then uh, so the idea would be to do well, let's pick a big one that you get this uh, yeah so start to can dissolve all that right at least from the back and then uh, of course the idea that all this will cross everything right so you get all these vertices collapsing together getting close on that huge face then you get you start to get something a movement like a motion like this uh, where is that ah my shortcuts all right so let's assign here shift backslash and assign backslash so let's also save for now uh, save okay 3d cursor so you get something like that as the joint as the deforms happen so you see we can test sometimes uh, smoothing also gives some idea let's uh, let's get some yeah normal here yeah here we don't see very well too. so smoothing is not really reliable but it can show some some uh, things all right so oh I didn't have the case there so it was a bad test sorry folks let's see here yeah I see some person just give three topology on that knee joint yeah I think that's a uh, quite popular sort of especially in games maybe is low mesh density right low body but that won't work if I uh, want to give subdivisions oh no actually yeah maybe if you tried then uh, yes maybe you're right but uh, actually blender is sort of smart regarding the subdivision so so if I have trigon it finds a way to to sub to create some quad subdivisions it's kind of crazy so if I enable this uh, Maybe it is not a good example, but let's see. Yeah, you see what it is doing? It created a quad subdivision there. So this became a set of. This virou um conjunto de diamond quads, de, de quads diamantes. So this is what. Uh, uh, this was an improvement in Blender subdivision surf of course this will kill the trigons right so uh, maybe that won't help in the deform so but uh, this thing is sort of smart at least for making this that uh, transformation 
to uh, to quad. So it's an interesting automation, but maybe it ruins the idea of the. So in that case, the best solution would be to s not use subdivision surface modifier, but just subdivide the mesh, right, and keep the trigons, right. So uh, well, make the subdivisions ourselves, right, and then we. So apply the subdivision or no, not apply because it will ruin the trigons, right? So that would be a solution. So I think that could work. It will work it again after subdivide. Yeah, exactly. That can also work, but then it can be confusing. So I think apply unless the mesh is too big or unless it's easy to rework the trigons on top of an applied subdivision surface modifier then yes subdivision would be faster if we can just remake the the trigons exactly what, where we want without trouble yeah but the edge flow so messed up yeah the trigons also ruin the mesh flow sometimes they can help of course but usually they will uh yeah i think that's what you meant so here we can connect this, we can connect this. Why this doesn't have the right color? Okay, so we get this selection here with shift, let's assign here. We don't have this area yet, so we can... Uh, this is actually going down. So that, like this is pushing down, right? So we can sort of explore this, right? So already giving some uh, de uh, declivity or some the cleavage there's also getting some we'll need more mesh geometry here indeed if we want to have all the foot if we're using this strategy i'm not sure this strategy will work uh to be fair uh the way i expect it to, should work but i mean i want good deforms on that area these deforms I didn't have on another file, which is on another blender, I'm not gonna bother. It seems that it'll lag my workflow. So let's just continue here. As we see, what is this doing? Yeah, interesting, or maybe not. <laughs> Anyways, this doesn't matter because we have. So, one, two, three, five. Why do we have more here? Of course, because here we made a new one for the side right so another idea maybe would be to get this maybe to the front so this is dangerous or maybe to the back really we can now this will yeah there's a face loop here that is important but here we don't have diamond quads on some place here here we have on both sides and here we of course, if we had more subdivisions here, we could we wouldn't rely on that. We could cheat. We could do this structure inside, like inside here, so it wouldn't be a problem. But we don't have we don't have subdivisions here, so we cannot do that. Or one would be enough. So we need to find. Um, I'm tempted because this is the side. I'm tempted to get it from, yeah, from the top, maybe it's easier, or maybe here, I want that part to get inside, so I'm gonna get here, this dime, this uh, thing, and we connect here, so you can dissolve that, and here, yeah, but of course this will create another face loop here, but that's not the end of the world, so we'll need to do this on the other side. Uh, here we got what was the idea here yes so I'm gonna make this sort of symmetrical and then we get here here and there we connect here then what about this what face is that so now this face is what's happening here I forgot something no I just forgot to this yeah forgot to dissolve that this is probably not yeah this face loop is uh, yeah, this sounds interesting. <laughs> interesting looping around. Uh, accidentally occurred, right? Not that I wanted this to happen, but that's interesting. So, uh, what I need here, I don't want 
we can get something more organized here so this will be blue the blue this will be oh I see okay so let's get this like that then this can be this is being the this blue color right but I use I was using the blue for the lateral so I'm gonna change here the light blue and then we're gonna use this one as a even lighter blue so you need yeah we're gonna do that whatever here it didn't connect yet so we'll have to and here this will be red hmm interesting so this is um, okay so I need to make these connections here I have these joints uh, this I'm not sure about that part here maybe I should dissolve this for now and just make the connections here and then we make something else about that so here we can dissolve this or just merge here then we get here on oh, the back of the foot also have the same problem now on the top totally forgot about that so we'll have some trouble here um, well no actually I don't no I, I am wrong it's just there is no knuckle like that on the bottom so we can actually just try to this will probably be easier than the top so I need to yeah let's use the proportional editing let's push this thing in some strange way <laughs> that is how thumbs are very to uh, foot toes are very bizarre <laughs> unless you are very familiar with them so you find them familiar yeah for me they are familiar but uh, not as much familiar as hands so I find them odd sort of so here we see that we're lacking some something is happening here that is not good so it's like this is the top and it includes the knuckle so the knuckle is in is still on the finger okay this is but actually this shouldn't be here it should be back there's something odd about the positioning of this thing um, maybe I needed something like one two three one two three yeah so here you have an anatomical problem this uh, thing shouldn't be here uh, but it it can work it's just that it's it's not very accurate here and there here I start to have this problem uh, so let's try to get this thing here yes we have to make some extra mesh here but we have to handle new new a different set of uh, there's a different topology we need here to make because of the foot the sole and one idea is to make some circular things around here this is how I've been doing I'm not sure it's a good idea uh, I can actually use the same idea similar idea here except that now the loops will come from the toes and circulate around this stuff so something like that so it will uh, clean everything here in a logical way so what I can do here is getting this sole part here uh, not sure how you handle that yes we have a problem here uh, let's try to we'll start just with that we'll see what, what to do with that later then so we're making extra geometry for the sole here for these parts and of course their positioning we need to check on our own foot to have a reference okay here we have one two three four five one one two three 
four, five. Okay, this works. Although it may be bad, but you have to distort it. So this, in Portuguese, a batata do pé. I think the this one goes further like that. So while well, this is more protruded, it is a highly an exaggeration, of course, but that should be fine. Uh, this one is very strong at the at the corner at the yeah near the corner and this one is uh, also stronger in the corner but it can all right so let's redistribute that and so here in the center there is indeed some thing like that this can grow like that and this can grow like that so this is the uh, yeah I've done differently I've done circular things but here we uh, I'm not getting s sometimes these circular face loops they are not good I have experienced that and this is a curious intriguing fact so what I can do here let's see one two three four five um, what about this yes is this accurate enough I'll have some problem here if I want this to be regular um, here we have okay let's try to does that is a bit bizarre because they are not being very symmetric in this happening yeah I don't like this uh, this difference here uh, so yeah it will push so let's undo this we need to find a solution for that all right so there's another idea maybe I can have something in the middle like something like that and so that means that we can connect yeah but that will make circular right uh, the circular thing again uh, the problem is that if I wanted to continue this this face loop is already the side are already taken so I cannot just connect this here uh, is would there be a reason to make this connection it will be more dynamic right so it will loop but currently these face loops they are yeah they are taken so as a competition here so this is more the side not these faces but these ones they are more related to the side so and this is the joint so I don't there are too many joints here uh, well not here so maybe the end of the foot so okay let's let's try this Uh, this is a lot of, topol of geometry to take into account so this is a bad thing but it would avoid making the circular face loop so this maybe is this is uh, good and here we yeah we also connect here I'm still confused how to cut some edge and and give the end of edge without add more loop cuts um, yes so basically there are many ways to cut I use the cut tool uh, and I you can of course sometimes use X and Z Y Z to to align the cuts to some uh, you can use some techniques like you can cut like that I'm just clicking and then this is the knife tool I think it's K uh, by default so need to so here we have to cut this and then cut this and so here we have uh, th this kind of structure however if we loop cut like that yeah it doesn't work so to do that we can like just make a temporary thing like 
just a temporary cut so we can do this right and then we can dismiss this trigon so this is a way to and so here I have this right but I'm gonna dissolve this so we can use the uh, para usar essa técnica para fazer evitar esses loops absurdos to avoid these excessive loops so here we could paint this red because it's uh, an important thing I'm not sure this is gonna work <laughs> Uh, uh, it should work but here there's a joint anyway so this will deform a lot and we have enough some geometry no do we have enough geometry here no probably not so we're gonna make a new uh, loop there later so for now that part in the middle we're gonna repeat this idea so we're gonna just do that here we can continue here uh, and here I think it already ends about here you see the pink part, so here we cut this. A gente continua cortando aqui, já é a parte rosa, então já é fora. Então essa aqui é que a parte que a gente precisa trabalhar nessa some geometry adjustments here. Let's push this like that. Smooth. Uh, let's smooth this uh, no this control shift left mouse button click yeah this we need to push down something like that uh, we see there are some lack yeah sure there's certainly lacking geometry here so we can already get this so this we can push up already so we have already this hope that will work uh, deform wise and here we can make these connections and here we have a trigon why not <laughs> so uh, let's see if I yeah, I see this is as I smooth this out this doesn't seem to cause too much problem so uh, we can leave that the way it is uh, but we could try another way to collapse this geometry like if it continues I have to pick one side yeah we could like just decide to make at some point some loop like that but so now there's a diamond quad but uh, I think this will be useless as if centralized. I think this is okay. Então acho que aqui vai ser ok deixar esse trigono assim. Acho que não vai dar problema. E se der problema a gente vai ver depois. Não é uma área aqui também que não é bem a área da junta aqui. Nem aqui, nem aqui. Então tá mais ou menos seguro. Na verdade tem uma área aqui que vai não tem uma área não é aqui é aqui ok é, é two joints here basically here here there is also a joint well not exactly a joint yet yeah, but there, there are some bending here but it's very slight so I think compared to the others so here yeah it's more here that bends a lot here it bends a little less I think so here there's a lot of bending here even more bending yeah here is radical right here as we get so here we have to reconnect this once here uh, let's merge at center no oh, what's happened I'm on the what's happening here I don't have this extra vertex so merge at, at cursor now at center um, what is that? Oh, just lacking some. Hmm, something went wrong. No, nothing went wrong. Just that this is useless. Let's bring it to the middle. Wait, huh. what's happening here? Yes, yeah, something is wrong. Um, this is uh, an excessive.
Oh, that is lacking. Yeah, this. So we can, perhaps. Hmm. It's like the bottom part is correct, but not the upper part. Okay, apparently we have an extra an extra face loop somewhere. Um, well, let's dissolve that and try to... After we check that. Yeah, probably it's just that these things are not properly organized, so... Let's organize this and... Yeah, I know this goes to the bottom, what is... Okay, that part, so here we have to solve that. And here we end up with the trigon because... Hmm, we are lacking geometry. Oh, maybe we need to... Okay, let's uh, undo this. So, something went wrong in our... Uh, we need to... So, this is the middle one. Here, this thing. I see. Uh, so here actually we need another... Uh, so we could try to... Yeah, so I'm gonna do like that. This will actually join. This We disconnect first. We mix merge here. We'll mixture aqui. Daí isso aqui vai pra cá. Disconnect aqui, isso aqui já vai para ali, e esse aqui para cá. So I'll be able to get rid of the trigon, because that trigon, well, uh, that existed, because we're going to collapse this stuff in a different way. Que aqui a gente precisou dessa divisão extra. Não é uma má ideia, actually this is not a bad idea to have... Uh, this thing in the center, especially if we do something like that, so that we can create this point here, and uh, this can be useful for uh, another uh, for shapes. Can be useful here. I'm not sure this is gonna work with just one. So this is dangerous. We're gonna check how this works, but here we, since we have this, we can try this, this, and so here we can collapse everything. So there we have a major loop here, which is bizarre, but okay, it doesn't matter. These loops, okay, circular, but it goes very far. So that's interesting. Uh, here we could have a middle too, so we could do the same strategy here, except that here we'll end up having a exa star. Let's see how this. Okay, if we smooth this out, it doesn't seem to be horrible. We can also change some geometry here. So this is a bit squarey and. Maybe it's not very good. So I also think that this could be take more space here. Yeah, not sure here how the shapes will work, but this can be. Let's try to. Alright, um, this shape, yeah, the subdivision surface modifier is ruining my my model. I often add more nonsense loop cuts and don't know to end it somewhere. Yes, so the idea is to keep it simple. Why I have this here? And uh, having many examples of uh, not those just those technical uh, 
mesh topology ideas reference like technique very uh, abstract things but no a real application real application so you see where the real application goes so one of the most complex part here let's say so for example yeah this is very complex but we're gonna solve it right now so for example I have this to solve but I know I have an idea already that uh, the flow should be like this. Let's take. Aqui eu tenho essa parte é bem confusa, mas eu tenho já uma ideia de que o flow das dessa o flow vai ser the flow will be something. I can control Z that. All right. So that will be flow like that or whatever like that. Then there will be crossing flow like that or like that and there will be flows like that too, right? Can, that goes around here. We already have this, right? This one, this blue one. Uh, we have this flow like this, this cross like that and then it goes, yeah, you see. So you have the flows first. You think about the flows first, the big flows. So for example, we have a flow here. Yeah, we don't know where it ends. Probably go to the leg or maybe go, I don't know. Not sure, maybe maybe it could go around here. Yeah, not sure. Here there's a flow uh, that, okay, it does that, okay. Um, so we first f develop the flows and then we solve uh, so I want a flow like here, certainly. So first we, we make the flows that we want. And then we try to connect stuff. Like here, I'm, I, I don't have the flows yet because I needed the leg to... Well, maybe not, but yeah, I want the shape of the leg. And then from that we start to make the connections. So this is the problem of making the whole mesh at once and then so uh, and then making the 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 the, ret the cuts and everything so that's why uh, personally i think it's more smart to make the puzzle like that so we end up with those holes and we just have to try to find the uh, good connections so we don't be loop cutting a lot it's just uh, more about uh, but there are man many approaches right this is uh, uh, sort of a sl uh, slow pacing approach is not that fast but it's very precise in the sense that what it, f it is bad at is that it's often difficult to to shape geometry at the same time as mesh topology so this is as we make the mesh topology so this is a disadvantage of this approach but uh, if we know more or less the shapes that we want, we don't really have to bother too much about the shapes. So we just uh, stand a bad shape for a while until we can uh, find a good or ideal mesh topology for that shape. Of course, we might have to make changes, so this is important to consider. Uh, so here this okay one two one two so there are three but why there are no there are three this is just a confusion oh I'm lacking of course these structures here that's why so this actually goes like that So, agora, é, que tá faltando isso aqui, we are lacking something like that here. So, it will be a basal knuckle for everything, so how does that work? I think it will cut here. Uh, this will create some problem, maybe? Well, we have these dolls here, if we need, we can create something from here. So, this is a safe place to work because it's easy to provide it's not on the joint exactly except this one this one is exactly on the joint but that's that works that should work 
and so here we need to cross this is a wrong one we need to cross here and then we need to okay um, I think I found a problem here we have this we need to sort of do something about those yeah so we can have polygons that are like that for a while just don't lose track of them dá para ter polígonos assim por um momento até é só não perder a não os perder de vista so here we yeah we can probably do something like that then gonna do this thing this probably will go here uh, no we are now this is correct right so here this is wrong we need this to loop around here probably now this is this is the oh I see this is on the wrong place folks then we'll get it um, so this must go hmm, bizarre thing I think I've made this thing too yeah the colors sometimes also don't help so actually there is another face here and so this is why it will be looping around it so it will be certainly like that and then here we can disconnect this we can for now use that uh, okay here we go so now this will be again this should be connected directly there this is red let's uh, try to smooth out this whole thing smooth this thing sounds very bad the distribution of the mesh here sounds terrible let's try to align this all right with proportional editing it's sort of better here let's push this up with it's like a set of knuckles all connected okay so because we have this thing it doesn't matter uh, so here we have this problem that what is where does that go oh this is the middle one so um, <clears throat> not sure how to handle that we don't have okay what about this one we see that this one goes like here so this one should do here I think there's an excessive one or is it this one well we first connect then we see oh no this connects here okay so this is the lateral sides and this should be looping around the yeah so this is more or less good let's reshape this uh, this looks strange yeah it seems that we can readjust those things let's realign those those things here and what about this <laughs> it sounds blocky it were it seems okay but I still have this problem that I've made some a mistake or in which a bad calculation in which the knuckle actually is part of the foot <laughs> of the toe so this is a little annoying uh, I think this this is uh, 
how to solve that well to solve that if I I don't need to solve it now but let's uh, fix this first all right so where does that go okay it loops all around and okay it ends up okay that is missing this goes actually there okay so why why is this here what is this i think this is a dead uh, uh wrong thing hmm. okay this loops behind uh, um, strange thing um, I cannot dissolve this let's push this down let's push this front it ne nearly looks like a Napolitan ice cream <laughs> uh, all right these colors so here Hmm, why, why this is here? Let's push this a little more to the front. Let's align this. They only the knock the big toe has this uh, different anatomy uh, at least more uh, appealing more apparent and maybe it's not exactly like that but doesn't matter so here I'm struggling to find okay so this so here's the point we have perhaps um, I don't have what I don't have what to do with that right now so we can perhaps just try to this will band also It looks like we have an extra thing here because if this is equivalent to that okay there is the bottom and then there's the side no they are matching it's just that the the positioning the geometry is all messed up so let's try to realign those stuff so this can be very confusing if we don't have the shapes well placed then we it's difficult to to make the to decide the mesh topology if you have problems with the shapes so here maybe for now since I and then we have this part which is let's see okay so this I think made the, the problem may be here so here let's try to connect this big face here let's push this to the front then we have why we have this let's face delete this delete this here this positioning goes here we can push this back oh I see uh, looks like the back of the foot is the the sole here is missing something um, we end up in a pentagon <laughs> one two Oh, this face loop. Oh, there's something here. 
All right. Looks like I need to rev revisit more anatomy right now. Uh, yep, it's all about muscle flow. Muscle flow, uh, yes, well, there are different ways to, to approach, right? You have uh, those very regular meshes that don't really respect muscle flow. So, for example, look at this leg. There is no muscle flow in this mesh so uh, except perhaps here but no the muscles on the anatomy if we want to so there are ways to make the mesh very ac more accurate to muscle flow so lots of twisting uh and and loops yeah it can get very none of these are are very accurate i mean yeah this is somewhat more accurate right but right, it doesn't respect all the muscles, right? The anatomy it's just pinpointing some uh, favoring certain anatomy, and it's not just muscle, right? There are the tendons, there are the the bones that stick out, uh, that appear. There are the flesh. So, lot of the yeah, but we can generalize essentially bone uh, muscles, but the anatomy to to apologize. So we need to decide what we want to let's say st stylize topology wise so you see here there's some muscle flow but this is not only muscle flow there's fat flow uh, flesh flow here is very regular and has nothing to do with the so this is more flesh flow and less muscle but here we already start to have some more attention to probably something that could be muscular here is the some uh, of the gluteus maximus here we sort of have the gluteus medius flow so uh, there are decisions to make here there is no attention to the twisting of the yeah here no so we, we need to decide uh, which kind of uh, anatomic features we want to get more uh, represented by the anatomy uh, by the by the mesh geometry in general through mesh topology so here uh, even if we don't follow the muscle flows we can still have a good very good deforms but there's I think there's even a questioning if we really need to if even a very regular mesh topology like a chess board with very regular isn't better for certain deforms. My understanding is that on certain cases, yes, but if you have a character that has too many if yeah, it's difficult. I, I really don't know. I I believe but it's not just a question of the mesh density. If you have thousands and thousands of polygons then probably we can be less careful about mesh topology but even so it's good to have flow right so uh, for actually because even because uh, me more mesh density allows for more place more complexity in the flow because you have more space to work with we can represent in mesh topology more minute details of the anatomy while with a low poly lower medium poly we have limitations right we cannot just represent everything uh, he, so here i'm struggling with a lot of so all right so here we have this thing that probably is looping wrongly so i think it's something about this face here Okay, also happens that these loops around here, and this is like, uh, yeah, this should loop, loop around, uh, so it's like we are needing something else here to represent this, like the, the s yeah, so let's do that, uh, that will represent the Hmm. 
it's already represented so okay first let's do this side side so let's try to connect here first and then we see what we do here we try to connect here right here we try to yeah there is a uh, something missing for the the third part in the bottom yeah i see so there there's there is something missing here in indeed so what we're gonna do is just we are going to dissolve this loop cut here And this looks like that will be a fourth finger, but actually the use here of uh, the geometry will be different. So this will actually be so that we can have Oh wait, this is happening also because All right, this is confusing. I, I need to revise everything, but I, I'm gonna give a solution anyway. So we have here we need to push this to the side. This probably is not looking correctly. Yeah, just connect here. Uh what's that? Now you get again the same problem <laughs> so uh, what is happening here folks <laughs> um, I want to have just three thing three three stuff here so there's three on the bottom this is right but there's one excessive one on the top so I'm gonna dissolve this and voila <laughs> so this was a uh, just I have an I had an extra thing there that wasn't connecting well all right so here we simplified that maybe we should smooth this out let's smooth this out for now uh, we need to make the proper yeah, redistribute the mesh here. Let's also this face has a wrong color. Now, uh, also this is wrong color. This will only confuse. Okay, let's give the the light blue for now this let's give the other blue so these are lateral face loops this can be yeah this can be red this can be red um, for the joint we have this possibility and that the problem of the knuckles so should I add joints here, subdivisions? I'll leave it low poly for now, like that, but probably I'll need something regarding that. Let's try to smooth out this. And here we need just that. Is that correct? Yes, just that. So, no, no, there is more. Okay, so um, we need to find a way to collapse this. Again, the problem of collapsing so this shouldn't be too complicated I would like to collapse it as soon as possible but let's get away from the joint and we meet a problem so we could try this a trigon there is not a area that by that bends a lot so I don't want to create a extra face loop there just for this trigger so let's do like that i believe this shouldn't cause problem this trigger shouldn't cause problem 
and maybe we can solve that after we have to handle the foot uh, if we want to if I depois when I decide to if I decide to make the foot toes here remaining one separate them so they will be like the same geometry here same topology here except that we'll have to separate that will create a lot of other geometry here to solve but it will be all similar to that structure so we have a starting condition a gente já tem pelo menos uma uma proposição inicial aqui e orthogonal it looks like the feet are very big right <laughs> Let's try to, okay, proportional editing here. Uh, yeah, now it's just geometry problem that we need to adjust these shapes. And here, uh, no, not not gonna push this. Only these ones. Push this to the side. All right can perhaps try to smooth this out, push this here, this is very bad. <laughs> and maybe this can, yeah, not sure, something like that, whatever. This needs to go more to the, yeah. Maybe like that for now. It might have some strange shapes forming here. Yeah, so maybe this on the lateral, this is a bad thing the way it is right now. So this thing. Yeah, so it should be something more like that, right? So it's not too. Yeah, it's just that it needs to go inwards, right? That. Yeah, so now we have a better smoothing. And then, of course, there is some trouble here. So, yeah, let's rotate here. Let's do this fancy thing here. Maybe this helps for uh, getting this knuckle area better. So, all right, so that concludes the, the foot geometry here and the well the topology at least because the geometry there should be lots of things to oh no there's missing something here so uh, how do you solve that well there's a joint here let's maybe we can do this from can try to solve everything there so we can work with that right so let me turn on the, the light here, it's dark, so you have here this vertex, I'm not sure I can solve this in this way, I'm not sure what, what strategy I'm going to use here. Um, What can we do about that? Yeah, the idea would be something like that, right? And then we, yeah, probably will will be excessive. wrong direction so from here to here then uh, not this now there's nothing here so uh, for the thumb there is this idea now this is getting too annoying um, I feel like it won't work very well. So let's try another thing. 
dissolve everything here dissolve let's try to end up here and we end with not a uh, not some subdivision here which would be nice like we have here but i think we'll have to leave this uh, so this is would be a richer geometry also here we don't have the middle one for simplification so this is not there is very, this is not the approach that I was taking from the start so many things wrong here so maybe I can just get yeah we can try to get the Russian doll As bonecas russas aqui. And here, yeah, let's uh, push this to the sides. And then we have here to solve. Well, that's be the same trigon. So, um, this loop goes currently up there right so all right so we have some more um uh, foot is ready uh let's approach this now um the ref i've did that training before oh i don't have the wrong timing let's i forgot the time i i am streaming this for about for about where is the time never find, seems to find it here one hour okay so let's give myself 40 minutes so yeah all this takes time digital marvel <laughs> uh, so let's get to solve the the pelvis region uh, everything there so first I think we can complete these face loops here and this will sim facilitate our uh, puzzle solution so I want I already know the face loops that I want more or less uh, yeah it was drawn there but it is too chaotic so uh face loops like here face loops going up and here already doing something about there and these loops there we solve later so i'm focusing on the buttocks first from focus nos gluteus so here I think this these ones go down it's good that the mesh geometry here is not too limited so where should it go to the side or we might require more uh, mesh geometry to make those face loops right folks so uh, this is a little problem but we can uh, adapt so these are already the first to see how it works we want to maybe this uh, not show this and not show this so that we can work on the smoothing out of those things here let's join these areas for now they are taking too much space then here we want so it don't start with this yet because i'm not sure here we probably want some subdivision already I started the second one and we want this to flow up uh, the problem is this is on the way so this might cross everything uh, let's push it downwards so it would do that Uh, maybe it should yeah so then it connects here let's rearrange this geometry 
so this will start to be like turning up then it could yes connect directly to that face yes uh, so and then from here we can set it turning up uh, so this could be a mistake that if we get it connected here but eventually this will crossing will happen more or less like that so um, The, it doesn't seem very regular this is right in the way right so this is annoying let's try to make it more regular and get these ones more uh, adaptable here we probably just want this regularity so another one going down this goes up and the question is here yeah maybe if I didn't have it right glued here could be better let's try uh, so I will disconnect this I'm gonna check in another model that I, I was working also how I did that so here no, no 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 let's connect leave this connect maybe I can make another face here then here we we delete this face and so here connects here okay we end up with the trigon for some reason so maybe we need to separate this let's use proportional editing should be better to handle these shapes it seems that it's too much faces here so here we could perhaps Yeah, and then probably this will end up like that anyway, so... Basically, we only delayed the... The event of... Well, we made it different. Uh, so here, maybe I need some... So this would be turning up now uh, but not so fast so maybe it connects there okay and then here we could no there needs space here so let's see this face loop uh, it starts to follow no, oh, why, why do I have this? So this one maybe is a wrong one. Uh, yeah, this probably might cause some trouble. Can be a solution, but not sure. So maybe I, I cannot dissolve this one. It goes directly to the center. So this is the center of the spine. and yeah i'm concerned about this not usually what i do and i'm struggling with this part um i tried to do something but i it's it ended up not being the way i i like so it's like uh, i probably do, did the inverse here for this the, this part here So I ended up having this face loop, which I'm not sure it's a good idea. 
and uh, so that means that we could probably have this one getting connected to this so let's try that instead so yes I'm I'm dissolving a lot of things here so this will connect to the center this will connect here and this actually is the one that will goes to the yeah so looping all that way uh, considering that also we have this loop that sort of gets uh, around so the pelvis the pul pubis the the buttocks re um, the middle of the buttocks in tone uh, all right so for now we can accept this um, I think there's too many subdivisions here and this is chaotic so maybe it was better to just accept the fact that as this goes down I mean, this uh, I'm doing is going to is probably going to work, but we have delayed too much the connections just because I was afraid of some. I wanted more uh, loops. Uh, I wasn't sure so how it would end up. So. There are too many faces here, so for to start with that work, so let's just merge it less. Let's bring this more close to the center. And uh, let's change this to here. We see that we are lacking some. Yeah, we can just for now extrude. Now we can't extrude here, so let's just make some simple connection here. Change this to teal. Here we see that we start have some problem. Uh, it's hard to see what's going on there. Apparently, some. What's happening? Indeed, I, I don't understand. So, an extra. Okay, this is badly connected. Alright, we are not sure how we gonna end that part here, but apparently this is a this is a proper face loop, it's just very in very bad shape. But the quads here are crazy. Okay, this is a wall. Yeah, this is in bad position. This also... Why? What kind of loop is that? I, I didn't call for that loop. So this is probably not going to that direction. This needs to follow. So this is all the results of me creating this... Uh, some extra face loops there that went wrong. So. Here we get this. Okay, so this is right, except that this goes here. Right. Can always keep smoothing this. If uh, maybe we'll have to add more geometry there eventually. 
here of course this is wrongly positioned let's bring it to uh, this is an area of course of the botox uh, that it goes inwards right like in the dorsal area here but the center however uh, as it reaches for the crotch region then uh, it inverts so it starts to bulge out so this is uh, a bit confusing and I experimented with different like here the start to do the inverse at some point so this is a bit complicated to set up and can make a special mesh uh, topology for that I, I have tried but it's not very simple uh, also because it's also about how it will deform so it's actually very difficult to find something that works greatly uh, I haven't seen many good reference on that also so here if I I probably need to connect here and the positioning of that seems to be very wrong uh, this seems to be crossing no just it's just okay this is okay uh, here the problem yeah here I see some problem here is about this face maybe this subdivision here if we dissolve uh, as this is too apart from from the orientation here so this is it's a geometry it was a geometry problem apparently so you need to get those things aligned in some ways otherwise it's difficult to understand what's going on so here we can smooth this out so the wall here seems to be working and uh, here this is a very important because this is going to be a sort of a Yeah, apparently for, for, from the crotch region we need we see that we need something else here. We need this face but this face loop. However, as we go closer to the back part, we see that uh, we have excessive stuff. We need three faces apparently to get it work. I could try to collapse in a trigon, so this could work. But it's dangerous. Um, but it could work. <laughs> we need to investigate. So um, let's leave it like that for now. And um, maybe that can prove to be beneficial in the future in terms of simplification. So here we need to make these shapes better. And it's actually. difficult for everything here it's also suffering from the same problem is it maybe just need to smooth this out and the profile probably is bad so here I believe these uh, faces are not getting good orientations okay let's leverage this a little so maybe it can connect here why not uh, here we are lacking well let's dissolve that for now let's um, push this like that connect here push this like that we're simply fine because we are going to so uh, from that we're gonna start to do the inverse right so I'm just making the connection the basic connections here uh, so we dissolve that I could try to have this follow this face loop here which 
okay so this is clear that is probably going to go um, okay we extrude here this is probably just gonna connect here and here it is is very critical because here we are in the joint and this could try to connect okay so this is one of the most difficult parts also we need to find uh, so here also connect here we can connect this here for now but here at some point there will be a splitting which we can't avoid well this could work if we perhaps try to expand this more to the side Uh, how we can color this can't we give it a special color uh, maybe yeah the other teal color there right Ye yellowish color okay so this uh, we can make it different this can be that color it's not very good but all right then this can go again on the top this uh, overrides it uh, here we get this this can be red again so we are lacking geometry here we're gonna play with that area here uh, in a way that i prefer so uh, but I'm not sure we're gonna consult the other thing that I was doing some other models here this we could be smoothing out a lot but it will never solve the the problems uh, that yeah that will be rigging then so if that works smoothly uh, well if with a corrective rig we it, this works fine without too much problem then this could be uh, valuable so here we have we are risking this trigon however now that I have these shapes and I want to make something here I probably can yes probably we can work from this so let's try to take advantage of this to create some uh, shapes of interest here Vamos tentar usar isso em vantagem para tentar constituir essas formas aqui. Então aqui, uh, so this should go, ok, so this is going there. Ok, so this face loop is more or less doing what, what I wanted. Uh, let's dissolve this for now. Yeah, no, 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 let's do two here just for safety uh, probably will be required then we have this one this one should go down so how should it meet here it could but it looks like too far away um, not sure that this face yeah this face this will be dangerous folks this will tend to collapse like here very bad idea very bad idea so we cannot do this we need to find something else so maybe i can try this of course so now this is better but then we have a trigon so this goes down this goes up this goes down if 
provide I could have it uh, maybe like that I'm not sure so that will go up so you see adding geometry here can solve some problems uh, yes like so we could do the same thing here so what does that produces nothing <laughs> uh, actually this destroyed some of what we had so this goes down I'm not sure if it's a good idea this goes up and maybe we, sh we need to try to dissolve that uh, this is not going up folks but just one doing the motion should be good enough except that we have a few more uh, we'd like that to to go up but there is some limitation here so apparently it won't go up so it would be a lateral one that is going on this uh, sort yeah this I wanted this to connect to that area right but to be fair if we want if we check ourselves for anatomy of course the botox take an area that is not aligned with the I mean the, the leg of course includes the botox the or maybe the positioning well maybe the joint is a bit like here I guess of the hips thigh so um, it might be a good idea to have a flow like that in the sense that it stays aligned with that face of course that means that we'll have to subdivide I'm gonna try that folks maybe this is whatever can be good for a better solution of the type so maybe this is a good idea uh, I'm gonna experiment that and so here we are having problem of excessive mesh geometry we need to collapse those things and we cannot collapse this on any uh, anywhere because of the critical complex joint region here so if I want to collapse this stuff I will have to To do it somewhere else maybe in the middle of the type uh, not in yeah here already would be dendros so maybe here so if I want to uh, so what we could do we have is have a lot of joints here right uh, subdivisions so okay so this would be it's not even looping around itself so this is bizarre and because of course as it goes there it doesn't meet unless it could do that <laughs> so this is a bit crazy but it's actually it could be useful pretty useful because it because we don't have a lot of geometry here this is at the same time time going up actually this is creating regularity on the front and giving some leverage here of this area but this could be yeah it could have good hand complications but it simplifies although it seems complex it simplifies some structures here we at least we have these things going down right yeah clearly those face loops are going down this is going up this is going up and to the side so yeah looks looks okay then here we could consider um, even having another one here so what that does is that we can start to play with a few more yeah but this face starts to get a bit too large this can be 
yeah this is a delicate part that uh, we'll have to investigate so maybe here I push this up so you have more face loops here to smooth out and this can help in okay we know what this is and this is sort of following that the cool thing is that this is sort of following that but then it splits from this one and it gives this uh, fat area here or muscle area because this is the but uh, gluteus maximus and so this is more or less uh, workable we need to solve that part and here so my idea would be to use that same strategy of stuff right so we in the middle of the leg yeah this might be bad uh, terrible idea but I don't think this area deforms too much so I, I believe this will be safe so what I'm doing here this is wrong it is this yeah. zoom in it will be a bit irregular stuff so I dislike again mistake all right let's do this then but because this area is so critical having these smooth things there could be handy and maybe I could just do a trigon but then we'll lose yeah we'll probably lose this one so let's do it simpler then just a yeah let's end up like on a trigon <laughs> it's simpler right But then, yes, this face looks a bit too big right now, and there is little to do about that because we need those. I'll have to make a whole redistribution here to get these things better. So yeah, we can push this to the side. So this is not a wall thing. Well, this one is a wall thing. So we could even have more subdivision there, but it's not about subdivision that will solve the deforms, it's the artifacts from the rigging part. So this is, uh, of course, they can help the some more subdivision can help smooth out everything so I think this is a probably a solid uh, solid uh, mesh topology solid enough but we haven't seen uh, everything there uh, we don't we don't know everything that can go wrong but the sh yeah it could be better I think the shapes here could be the loops could be better uh, I'll show you what I have did on, uh, on another model here that I'm still working which is uh, an iteration from this one actually I just copy appended the, the so uh, but uh, I split the, the project right and now I would append some parts here that I found good like the leg the the foot so uh, the interchangeable stuff now it's about the geometry yeah here we'll have some smoothing problems yeah um,
yeah okay so now let's see how I fix that other okay let's open blender again it's chibi ruru it's another character let's see but it's uh, not chibi version so here let's see what I did here okay here there's nothing special but here are the loops of the okay it's a bit confused so this is uh, similar uh, oh I have a side one all right except that it doesn't do all that crazy thing so this is more regular than what I've did there then we have this blue then we have one that goes up so one goes up one goes down no this goes down this goes down this goes straight this go yeah this is yeah this one is much more regular right folks it feels much better than this goes up except there's just one going up so what's the how did they achieve that so so the positioning of this I'm following the idea from I like the other one that I've made there parallel so sort of uh, but I like this idea here too so I believe this could be all right so one two three uh, this goes down this goes straight goes to the belly right this goes up this goes up could be more going to the belly and then from the crotch of course this this uh, what this does okay another goes up all right to so see how they cross here and this one yeah all right so there are many ways to do it right and so um yes i'll have to make an iteration maybe that i won't show here because it will be tedious we i think i can continue with this version here in this case and let's perhaps go to another and also it didn't have the trigon it didn't have this crazy thing which sort of works but then we are some shapes here are difficult to smooth out that that's the case so the loops circular loops here are not very very not circular the the curvy loops here around the buttocks are not really that good yeah I should adapt and right now I think I'm out of time so we completed the feet we sort of completed that but it, uh, i certainly would like to make a retake we can work on the arm yeah let's extend the arm and le at least let's try to make this similar strategy here so what is the strategy we have an elbow that should be like uh, the back of the elbow maybe do some things like that and the front of the elbow that does this and this comes from the thigh but it could actually be in this case of the forearm it could come instead from the the hand so let's check how some other the collections that I that I selected let's see okay so even there can be two so you see looping from here and then looping from here this is interesting i believe this is good yeah this one is part this model is particularly good very interesting face loops then uh, here let's see this is more regular this is more wait Uh, and I don't see very well I think it's looping circularly 
here this is a bit strange but it's interesting what uh, this artist has done uh, no this is another region where it took that reference and so no not here okay so here from the elbow it goes around there yes okay so elbow forearm and here strange loops can see it. it's like this no it's not looping around here it's a different it's a crossing with the diamond quad there interesting too because so looping like that I can see the wait there but here it looks different the mesh is different on both sides <laughs> so weird okay uh, but I wanted to use this one it it does it in, may include using that one too so in the in inside right so okay we we got this idea i think i will use that one then for the here okay again the same idea except this doesn't i think this is badly positioned this could go well maybe that works but i think it should go behind the elbow and we don't see the front for this one no arms okay so the front the back yeah so the back here uh, we need to see so this will be the lateral things right so this is a bit complicated we need the model shit right so let's get the side the front for this then uh, we're already on the elbow region here okay uh, here I just gonna ignore the time because I want to at least get this started right so um, the face loops will more or less continue the same so we just uh, okay this is wrong let's give that the next true let's start to shape this part like exaggerated in that way and here the wrist extrude uh, no extrude here and let's uh, do a s y x x zero there we align that this we can smooth out to try to get closer to the wrist here we can start to smooth out here maybe we need another subdivision we smooth out here we went to try to s x zero no s x zero no s x zero there just trying to align so this will be like the center let's approach this here um, maybe this is too much for now so let's just So just shaping the mesh overall and then let's start now to work on the topology so in this case uh, because I need the shapes to be spatial uh, better aware of what's going on let's get the back oh, no this was a back view okay what is the front view uh, they are not even equal it uh, doesn't matter um, uh, it's sort of similar so okay let's get the elbow so it should appear more in the back I think very very badly but so I'm gonna push this like that and so that is the line where it will exist so I think I need I think I need to push it from is that correct no um, if I want to loop I loop like that okay let's start like that then 
I'm gonna make this development and this seems wrong the amount of geometry I'm creating here um, one oh of course I know why it's because I, I didn't do that what I did for the legs I didn't do here for this so actually the front has four uh, yeah excluding that the the back has four so the orientation is wrong I need to twist those features in order to do this so I'm going to this will so I'm gonna redistribute this mesh so I'll pick the center and we'll make it appear a lot so this we'll, we're gonna yeah we'll have to delete this because this is probably badly positioned so this will be what appears from the back so it's about the center is actually two faces the middle between two faces so that means that uh, the face loop of the thing would be yeah we could consider it here and here even though I don't know what I'm gonna do with this extra geometry there but we are already starting to create that loop so we can yeah we can end up there this will go around the uh, the hand so this is interesting for the hand not so interesting for the arm but we'll see this will probably be useful for the wrist and whatever the hand so we're gonna give it a Uh, give it a what I'm doing with annotations is the materials so here we want the yeah let's no not red let's give it some this color here we can already start pushing out this yeah we can smooth this out start to get here and smooth this out push this will be a representative of the elbow I think here another subdivision and yeah this pointy part maybe it's about here there are more than one right bony part of the elbow that sticks out there are about three uh, I'm just making one right so because it's stylized so Here we need to probably get these things in a, bad sh in a better shape. Yeah, we can make this reduction here. Maybe we can slightly scale down this face here, smooth these ones. And um, am I on proportional? Posing, the uh, editing, no, not yet. Smooth this out. Okay. So from a top view, probably we have a top view here. Not too bad shape. At least from I don't have a top view model sheet, so this maybe is too far away. So it doesn't help too much. Let's try to centralize this a little more. Um, so the odd from the front now same idea on the front I don't I want to have the faces correct faces appearing so this means that we have here from the bottom we have we should probably 
hide this I want this to be uh, blue like that now this will be the darker grayish blue and this will be the and those two would be the light blue so if this is correct the dark blue is behind the arm and the light blue is above and there are two well these would be the two faces which are uh, in the middle and so here I'm gonna create this uh, also on the middle so this color here is not necessary we know that these are the middle and same here we can get this loop cut this loop and deselect that color now it's that one and again go back here and assign to white so here is not something we need to track as much as the others so here the idea of the leg of course would be so if on one hand we have the elbow yeah we can make the the red face loop uh, that goes yeah on a on that so they go to the middle now they connect to this okay except that we are doing the inverse right yeah so we are doing the inverse so it's like um, basically the elbow would be here wait what's happening yeah I'm making a exactly and then I if I want I can make more subdivisions for uh, so here we can smooth this out we can expand this area here so this will be in red scale this without proportional posing and so this will give solid uh, mesh geometry mesh topology for the elbow that should be very hard to get bad results with this uh, should help a lot I mean in rigging the joint but it's not what is going to solve the artifacts of course we need corrective methods and I have them so that will be safe this will just make our work much better much simpler much less frustrating I hope all right so here seems to be good enough let's smooth out those faces and now yes the arm is uh, badly shaped here but that's okay we were changing those things for special purposes here this seems badly aligned it's be just because of this extra vertices okay they have they can have this this uh yeah except for this one what's happening there okay it all it's just smoothed out and sx0 there we go so um, so no twisting feature here for uh, I mean geometry wise just uh, this will be for rigging oh sorry Saki Gaki I didn't uh, read that that pole on the side the side where the flows goes then the pole on the side yeah that was 7 and 15 yeah 15 minutes ago I think you mean something about here that pole on the side yeah so the poles now we can have a 5 star pole like here yeah 
so usually poles are uh, yes they they redirect flow so you can have here for example but as we rig they tend to go inside while three star poles like this one this is very different this tend to sticks out as we smooth we don't see it here but as we deform the mesh this will sticks out so and this will deepen and sunk, sink right uh, but this is secondary I'll, it's fundamental but it's not the most uh, what we really need to take into account usually is not only the fact that it sticks out and then, but that the flows are accurate because then if the flows are good then we can rearrange where do i want a, a star pole of this or a, a trigon pole I, I forgot the name of this one so yes uh, so here again we can use it's complicated right it's too visual and bizarre but we get used to the ideas uh, so oh i forgot that thing okay so on the other rig it was very regular so let me check how i did on another character my the main one So redirecting the mesh is a very fundamental thing in order to make good mesh topology. We must know the tricks that will allow to do that when we want, uh, where we want, uh, whenever it's possible. So here I have this strange mesh geometry here. Okay, so that's what's... Okay, so... Ah, I see, that, that thing. Okay, I wanted this thing, so... What it does, there's a pole here, five star pole, and here a three star pole. So this redirects the mesh to collapse in the mirror uh, plane. Same thing is happening here, but it's not necessarily a good idea. Uh, but we could have this dissolved, right? So this thing connected here, except that that will end up being a six star pole i don't know uh let's see let's check this yes <laughs> so this uh one two three four five six well even this okay so of course this is because of this but then it will still have yeah so this is uh, another good idea i believe maybe for the particular region it could be good who knows sounds bizarre uh, well if you have this yeah but if I dissolve this I lose the yeah I lose this uh, thing over now so I no I don't want to I wanted this thing but this is not absolutely necessary well the middle one goes straight all around right but this one collapse here i would like this to be more down so yeah so we need to collapse this here so the flow needs to get into a, there i don't know what to do there on the other part now oh, this is bad okay so i see what's happening lacking some face loop that comes from here to there around the waist something like that so let's close that at least i got the idea so here i'm gonna make an example of changing the flow so this one i want to change the flow towards the center so that will be i want so here exactly here i want to get this thing to go inwards so i'm gonna get here and here i have to uh yeah dissolve this let's just start yeah i can make i know no let's do like this so here you have this quad and here we can so here is another quad and here's the trigon we can readapt this part here redistribute some geometry or just create more mesh topology so here we'll have some confusion uh, these won't be this will start to work differently so I'm not sure where, where this goes yet it could go to the belly could be interesting 
but at least I've got this so and it goes exactly to this area here except that here we got some trouble so this connects here actually we need to yeah let's ignore this let's just merge these things let's push this maybe I need another thing here yes so I'm gonna cut here then let's do this for now what is happening here I think I have a delete this edge then here we got so this one and then this one which goes like okay so and here I want to shape this uh, more dynamically even though it doesn't need to match these anatomy features but yeah whatever it can it can we can do something about this so just be yeah we cannot expand this too much it will be bad so let's reduce a little the scale of these faces and uh, yeah let's not exaggerate that much we can also always use another face for for that thing let's rotate here around push this back let's push this inside a lot smooth this out push back all right i like this so this is uh not solved yet of course but we uh we are improving this particular rig here now uh what about this can we connect this would that make any sense now this doesn't look good so yeah we could just this goes up right so let's go up too so this goes well it goes until the arm that's fine but then we see that we are missing some subdivisions here and we are lacking geometry on the side so uh, i'm not sure how to handle that so maybe this can go let's try to redo this it won't solve the problem but oh this is a lateral one so we cannot dissolve that neither here nor, nor there so we really need to I think I've made a mistake when I dissolve some face here that made me lose some control over the this edge here but on the dorsal side so um maybe i can make some redirection here so let's see this all vertices maybe this doesn't need to go to the side like that so Okay, I need this one anyways, so cannot do otherwise. So if I do, did that, then this would go there. All right, this works, but then one, two, three, four, five, that's good. All right, it's not a very regular blue one, but that's the fact is that it fixed the puzzle in area here. And let's just change this to and that seems good except that of course i'm gonna re reshape some loops there not reshape uh, retopologize some but not not in this stream here really i miss that uh looks strange like that but could be risky here on the uh, on one of the reference I had this one goes really it 
it really goes um, very upward here we don't have all that motion upward but the idea of what this is doing is despite the geometry topology wise it it is doing more or less the same thing that i've seen in the reference so that should be okay yes i also miss perhaps some lateral one that would be crossing from yeah from the bottom here but that should be okay yeah it, it just look odd a bit odd like that but that should be maybe when i make the other things i can think of a although it's true that since this goes to the bottom yeah i would like a face loop that would cross like that it's just what I'm lacking. So it will be something like that, but it will be. Yeah, maybe it's just a rearrangement that is needed here. Something like that. And those faces, yeah, those faces have are having some trouble here. Wow, this face is really troubled. We could, with some anatomy aspects here, create some sort of, like, this is good because it would be sticking out because of it's a tree pole, a tree star, tree star pole, but it, maybe it should be here instead. Yeah, so maybe I need to... I'll have to expand some stuff here to be ideally working on that stuff. Uh, so some things here maybe are bad habits of uh, making this thing. So we could also play with the topology to consider those special events. So this will sink and this will stick out. Maybe this is not bad, but it's behind. It doesn't make too much sense. So yeah we have uh, some problem here maybe i just need to make us some sub sort of subdivision here and why did i lost this uh, faces um, so here yeah this is not good uh, We can always paint some when something is wrong. Yes, this is um, maybe just reducing the size of this face. No, it will still be there so it's annoying but at least this one advanced so this can be in a good position so this can be good let's try to no this is not the trigon the trigon is here no it's still it's still bad <laughs> no it's on the side no it's proportional posing so bad news <laughs> um proportional editing proportional posing is another concept so here uh, I'll have to handle this at some point and this is not the best face loop yeah we're gonna readapt that anyway so uh, not caring too much let's return to the arm 
as our last uh, development here. Of course, I'm not starting the hand now. We already had time enough on the foot. Oh, this seems bad. It will shrink in a strange way uh, on the back. And there's a bold star. So a lot of things here that are... Uh, we perhaps could solve this with more mesh geometry. Yeah, and if I didn't... If I may, had more space between those face... Yeah. And there's no uh, collar bone structure, so... Hey, why don't I have a face loop? Oh, I have this one. Yeah, but I could have a face loop around here, cutting like the continuation of this. So this could be useful. So you can cut through all this, like a bulldozer, and try to maintain some face loops here, but at the same time... So you see some things that we need to improve here. Uh, so concluding this part, let's uh, get this thing here, and uh, okay, the blue disappeared also, hide this, uh, I was needing to make a decision just if the If I go in the same direction and create more geometry for the for the hand, yeah, uh, that's that should be okay. Even for the wrist, yeah, it makes sense. So uh, let's do the same thing there. Then, and if it's not good, so same idea here that we did for the back of the joint, so the knee, except that here we have this going like that. The other case now is that both are going crossing, so this is the strange thing. Uh, I would prefer that it goes here, but where we need more geometry now is the hand, because here is set, right? Oh, hold on, we could have this loop. No, but this is behind the arm, <laughs> it's not it's under the armpit, it doesn't go there, it would go here, so it doesn't, twisting wouldn't be, wouldn't make too much sense there in that case. So, now to fix that, let's see, where is the loop that, it will be here. So you need to start from here, and it will be in the center, I think. No, it can go... Yes, it is in the center, that's right. It is here indeed, so we can push this. Uh, let's make those subdivision here and here. Uh, what happened there? Uh, merge at last. Then we can loop cut here and here uh, something went wrong here wrong edge dissolve then we can now we have this we can paint this on uh, that color maybe yes and then let's smooth out slightly some of these vertices uh, here for the joint we don't do anything special this is just good enough. Well, we can just push this inside a little, or just this one, and of okay, not with proportional editing. Maybe we can push this like that and smooth this better. Maybe push these ones. No these ones like that these ones we push there and closer here smooth this out of course this is a bit exaggerated we 
we can smooth this out anyway so that should be fine then here we can expand this a little um, this I have a tendency to they are getting distorted all the time for some reason I don't remember this behavior so I don't know what's happening with this oh yeah again so I, I really don't know what's happening here maybe I, there's too many they were certainly smoothing according to the to this pattern so this is one thing that was happening for sure but why then this pattern got crazy right I don't know Okay, and this creates a lot of of geometry that I hope will be useful for the hand. <laughs> and since we are here, let's just make a new one for the wrist near the joint and let's paint that blue. we can smooth this out let's see where is the yeah so this can be blue and this also can be blue just to now this is too much in the way right of the mesh so let's leave it like that here we can get this and this on that blue color and then we are ready for the next time to approach the hand which uh, I have some ideas uh, yeah the hexagon thing just as we did for the foot here the thumb the, the foot toes so there's six oh wait there's a there's now more than six because I've added this shape hmm interesting all right so this is special because this is the sole of the foot so maybe we maybe I could get rid of this structure I'm not sure we'll see if that works in rigging then we maintain it it probably will work there's no reason why this should fail but it it's not what I wanted but the foot is not the hand right so the hand won't need that so that's fine um, there are some arrangements there and the collarbone that area here a little the buttocks especially some things that we would like to improve but overall this is should be working and also the face let me check the face yeah, there are some shapes of the face that I want to perhaps improve, uh, but the geometry, the topology overall is okay. Maybe there are too much, no, for the mouth it's okay, but it looks a bit flat from this uh, view. Let's check now the some other visions here and see, uh, assess. Yeah, it's cool to assess with the, with uh, <laughs> the model sheet sometimes so yeah we have we could use the smooth modifier but this is not very safe it often results in some problems here let's see there's some oh yeah okay just I forgot to have this uh, they are not smooth at all they are very badly positioned Often it's annoying this thing. Uh, 
uh, here the distribution is horrible of the mesh geometry the mesh density this cer certainly is causing a lot of problems it's not smoothed out enough where's my mouse okay the cursor it depends on the position of the cursor yeah so a lot of problem here but we this is just to check the results of course uh, it's still horrible but this is because of the shading uh, and the yeah we should get that better anyways at some point but in principle yeah there's some oh help me found some issue there Is there here too? Yes. Some problem with the mesh. Uh, and the side view uh, we we'll need. Yeah, so there are wrongly geometry is. Is badly positioning on many positioned on very on many places. This will take some time to to solve, right? Here we see that the type is not with the right proportions according to the model sheet, and this also the shapes here are not very regular to match these curves this area is very annoying to to solve there's too much details here uh, a layer it right so it's not trivial and here seems that we need to smooth the belly a very strange uh, bulging here wrong of course wrong wrongly position faces uh, a little better but still bulging there uh, maybe the it's relatively simple to solve that but it's like uh, just time question I think there's some face problems here now let's just smooth out now uh, merge by distance So here, this pointy part sticks out. This can be useful. Uh, all right. So overall, this is. Uh, I think this is good mesh topology uh, for this stylized character, and I need to uh, stop. <laughs> So uh, we are we are nearly finishing the modeling part, folks. Uh, so the hand will be the last one. The rest will be retakes that I'm not sure are gonna live stream. We'll see. Uh, then I w intend to make the eyes, the hair, the cloths that I don't have a model sheet for the cloths. We're gonna find that out. And then rigging, and then yeah, texture and shading. I'm not sure. I think will be doing that at in the end right so after reading and physics and so that's it folks thanks for watching hope that was inspiring enough and see you next time uh, for more of these developments até mais pessoal valeu por assistir e até breve happy blending take care folks